Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, we're going to look in Daniel chapter 3. And I want to talk today really quickly about don't compromise. And what I want to look at today is a very familiar uh, chapter um, in Daniel about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We already know that they were in Babylon. They were in a foreign land. And we know that, you know, the, the children of God had been, you know, taken captive there. But these three and Daniel, they they, they were people of faith. They knew what they believed. They knew who they believed. Their trust was in God and they never wavered. All those circumstances could have made them waver and compromise, including the fact that all of them had names that related to God. But once they were taken to uh, Babylon, their names were changed to names that uh, connected to false gods, to idols. And so, but even though they were called by idol names, they didn't begin to worship idols. They never stop trusting in their God. They never stopped worshiping their God. They never started compromising with the people that were around them, the surroundings, um, the, the environment, the other beliefs. They always stood firm in who they believed in. You cannot compromise no matter what is going on in your life. You have to learn how to trust God in spite of because everything that you need, that's what God does. He provides for you. He keeps you even when you are on that edge where you feel like you have to compromise in order to get over. You have to compromise in order to get to the next step. You have to compromise in order for you to get out of that storm and out of that trial. But it's not true. If you wait on God, he will deliver you. The Bible says uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers them out of them all. And in the midst of it, if we could learn how to trust God in the fire, we would find out when we come out, we'll be better than when we went in. So I want to look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And we're reminded that there was a decree putting in place that um, that when the music played, that everyone was to bow down and worship this golden image of Nebuchadnezzar. But we know that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not going to bow down and worship a golden image of a king because they only worshiped God of Israel. And so the Bible tells us that, the, that everybody was called together and this was the decree that was put in place and anyone who didn't bow down and worship this golden image was going to be put in the fiery furnace. And we know the story that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would not bow down. And so because they didn't bow down, then some went and told the king that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had not bowed down. So the Bible tells us uh, in, uh, let's see, let's go down to Verse 14, it says, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I've set up? Now, if you be ready, that at which at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sack, but the psaltery, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I've made well. But if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Now, we know the story. We know that, that when the music played, they didn't bow down. We know that the king was angry and he had the furnace turned up seven times hotter. We know that when they went in, the men that threw them in there burned up, but they didn't burn up. We know they went in there bound up, but they came out loose. And, they, when, and when the king looked down, it was three of them down there, supposedly, but he looked and there was four because the son of God was down there with them. But here's the thing. They were loosed. They weren't burned. They weren't singed. They weren't hurt, but they were delivered. And when they were delivered, they, this is what I want us to look at because we've gone over this story before, but I want us to look at the fact that 
in verse 30, after all of this is done, first of all, Nebuchadnezzar said that nobody was going to come against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God. Um, at this point, he's a believer that their God is able to deliver because God delivered them out of this fiery furnace. They didn't die. They didn't lose their life, but they didn't compromise. They didn't compromise out of fear. They didn't compromise because they were being pressured. They just refused to compromise. And because they refused to compromise, they did go in the fiery furnace. Sometimes we got to go through the trouble, but God delivered them just like he will deliver you if you you don't compromise. And by the time we get down to the point where um, where Nebuchadnezzar lets people know that um, nobody could come against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God, or they were going to suffer the consequences. But in verse 30, it says, then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Listen, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, you're trying to gain, whatever it is you're trying to get over, get through, whatever victory you're waiting for, compromise is never going to be the answer because once you compromise and you do things that are contrary to what God wants you to do in order to accomplish something, you are going to fail because as soon as you think you accomplished it, God will knock you down. He will remove that thing. He will, he will cut that off. He will make you know that he is God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not compromise. They were willing to go through the fire. They were willing to be threatened. They were willing to go against what everybody around them was doing. And because they did that and it was for the glory of God they were promoted by the enemy the one that tried to kill him. Listen, we've heard this story over and over again, but I want you to get today. You can't compromise. Whatever it is that you need, sometimes people are trying to accomplish things in the world with their career, with um, different things they're trying to overcome or get out of, and they come up with all types of schemes and plans and plots that the world does. Listen, we can't compromise to get what we need. God supplies your needs. God heals. God delivers. God restores. God opens doors. God gives you favor. God will hold you up. God will give you victory because in the end, and everyone will know God did it. So listen to me. Don't compromise. That's never the answer. Go ahead and go through the storm. Go through the valley. Go through the trial. God will deliver you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us out of them all. Don't compromise. God will make your enemies your footstool. The very ones that tried to kill Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. King Nebuchadnezzar was the very one that promoted them. And then he threatened anybody who would come against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God. Because God is in control. Don't compromise. Don't be conformed to the ways of this world. Walk with God. Trust God. And God will bring you through. Give you victory. Hold you up. And then he will show you that he is God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are listening to this prayer right now. I pray for each of us, Lord God, that we will not compromise. We will not settle. We will not do what others do around us, but we will do as you've instructed. We will walk in your plans and your purpose and your way because we know that you are the God that sets up and you're the God that sets down. Promotion comes from you. Healing comes from you. Provision comes from you. Strength comes from you. Joy comes from you. Peace comes from you. Everything that we need, you are our source. So Father, help us to look to you, not to compromise, but to submit to you, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for the benefits. We thank you for the blessings, for your mercy. And we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I thank you for joining in today. Those that are watching for the first time, thank you for joining in. Those that have subscribed, thank you for being a part of us getting this word in us so that we can walk in this word. If you've not subscribed and you want to get uploads, updates when I upload, please hit the subscribe button below. Also, we have prayer and word every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard time. If you like to join in with us Monday through Friday in faith, gents, please call the number underneath this YouTube video or simply log in to Facebook. Um, my name is Tony Brooke Brown and I'm on live 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday through Friday. Also, share this message with somebody who may benefit from it today. Maybe somebody is right there on the edge feeling like they have to compromise. They have to do something contrary to God's will in order for them to get what they need, but remind them with this word today. They don't have to compromise. God will come through. And so, um, share the gospel with somebody today. Let God use you as a vessel and an instrument so that he will be glorified today. Walk in purpose, on purpose. God has a plan for you. I pray you have a blessed day in the Lord, and I'll see you next time. God bless you.